so much ammo that I'm never going to use. Oh right, they're all green. Uh, so I want... Red? Yes, red. So let's actually redo that assignment. Let's make it red. I made it green. Yeah, damage field is red. Good. Shield is blue. Not so good. I'll redo shield right now, I guess. Okay, there we go. All the important quick-to-access ones are all red. Oh, wait. Although recovery and damage field are actually the lower level. They're not the fully powered up ones. There we go. You know, I kind of... Mm, I want to try something. I want to try one of the new spells and see what it does. It's going to take a while to cast those, so let's get like all the way in the corner. Let's see. So this is some sort of a creature. Mm, creature or completely unknown spell? Let's do completely unknown spell. Aha! I don't know what that is. What does that do? Do I still take damage? Oh no, that's my shield getting used up. What does that do? What does that do? Let's see, so I still take damage. It's above my head, giving off little puffs. I don't know. Could be some sort of a buff? Maybe protects me against damage, or protects my sanity, or makes me do more damage. <laughs> okay, I totally forgot. Where did I come in from? Mm, this way? Yeah. Wait. Is it healing me over time? Because I took some damage, and now I'm back at full health, right? I think it's healing me. Oh, if so, that's super nice. Because I think you just leave it on during combat. Isn't there another door? It's a hallucination. This can't be happening. Hmm. Maybe I should damage field. I was one rune away! Alright then. Seven rune spells take a serious amount of time to cast. 
Ooh. It's a lot of blood from the ceiling. Nah. Yeah, this is better. What? Oh, there was one there? I didn't even see it. That's just for fun. Oh, is that the dead body? The dead body we teleported is actually there, in the trapper realm. Milky blue bottle stands on the altar. Does that restore my mana or something? That'd be handy. Oh, I think so. Five uses. Stopped with a chipped cork. This magical elixir will restore all of Peter's magical energy. Nice! I mean, there's no getting through that. It doesn't see me. This would be a good time to try the mystery summon spell. What are we going to summon with spell 10? Oh, that took so much mana. Oh my god! I get to control one of these? After a horror has been summoned, attack enemies, targeted, uh huh. Attack an enemy's head from far away to perform a shock attack. Horrors can open doors but not pick up items. Oh my god. Hi. The only problem is... When I release control of this thing, I'm gonna have to kill it. Oh man. I didn't think this through. Then again, I didn't know what was going to happen. Hmm. Well. And I made it red, which means all my red stuff's going to be bad against it. Oh no. Okay, it's facing the other way. Good. That will give me the opportunity to... Drink a magical elixir. I didn't even look at my mana. It was low, right? And we can just do a nice little damage field. Thank you for being in the recording train. I appreciate that. It's red. Blue's good against red. Alright, try me.
<sighs> Tattered letter lies forgotten on the chair. How did... How did the third part of the soldier's letters get all the way over here? It's been two weeks since Haskell went missing, and I'm afraid to go to sleep. More than once I saw shadows of people moving past my bed, peeking through the blinds to see a wounded soldier being taken from his bed, drugged and delirious in the dead of the night, never to be seen again. As Haskell was, perhaps, as I will be. What happened to them I don't know. I'm afraid to ask what happened, for I know that I would surely be the next one to be taken into the darkness. Should probably save. Is this to be Alex's grandfather being a dick again? Wait, is that actually happening? But obviously it's not really Alex's grandfather, it's the... Uh, Pius? Pius? Please don't activate. I'm just chopping some legs. Key lies upon the accursed shrine glinting in the soft candlelight. Binding Hall Key. <sighs> How am I doing on sanity? Eh, pretty good. I can just go right back. Actually, you know what? I could use health. Wait, how do I get health, though? It's purple, but... Oh, blue. I gotta go to blue. I wasn't seeing that blue was connected to the same platform this purple one was over here. Oh, that's magic! Ah. Oh. Should heal actually. So this is the key for the sun door, right? That was easy. I wonder, can I examine this body? Yeah. 
A young man's body lies hunched against the wall of the platform. Blood from the vicious wounds surrounding his face and neck soaks the remnants of what appears to be a uniform with a sickly dark red. Oh, once again, one rune away. Soldiers, cold and stiff body- okay, I don't think we need the 20 millionth description of a dead soldier. Ooh. Scroll. Magical attack. Why would it be here of all places, here in this corridor? Indeed, don't question it. Wait, is this all the spells in the entire game? Like, if the list doesn't scroll anymore? Is that all of them? Or does it keep growing? I don't know. Um, looks like I have what I need to do it. So, two things going down to the left, and then we got the thing. I know, great description. Wait, this is already have? Like, two different powered versions of it? Wait, what? Does that mean I've made it before? I don't understand. I definitely have not casted that before. Huh. Alright, well, anyway. Yeah, uh, let's make the highest version of it. Make it red. Two things going to the left, and this thing, and then four powers. So is that just like, shoot, like a beam of magic? I'll just cast the lowest level one just so I don't use up too much mana. Oh, is that the AoE? That might be the AoE one. The corridor is ended by an elaborate door decorated in a manner much different than the others within the cathedral. Peter senses an unbearable evil beyond that door. When he reaches it to open it, fear creeps into his gut and begins to eat at his soul. Should I open the door? Well, Peter's probably about to die, but let's save it first.
Is that a battle? Oh, that's a battle arena, isn't it? Ooh, we get to fight this time. We don't get instantly squishered. Okay, this might be a case of melee weapons, unless... I don't know, do I need to hit those orbs? Okay, let's... Ah. I, like, really need to cast stuff, but we'll see if I actually have the opportunity. Three, four, five, six, seven! Yes, I got it off! Okay, we got shield. Um... Start whacking at its legs, I guess? Oh, it's casting a thing. Okay, that doesn't work. Do I have to... Do I have to shoot it? Or maybe when it's making that color like that, maybe... Oh, it's moving. It's like maybe it's vulnerable, but it's moving. Damn, I can't just break the window and go through. Alright, maybe I do have to shoot it. not actually taking any damage. What? I thought you were reloading. Come on. Hmm. Right, well, it's blue, so I want to be green, right? Maybe it has to be green for it to take any damage. Like, whatever I attack it with has to be green, possibly. But is that its alignment? Is it actually blue? I mean, I chose blue for... Uh, as pious, so that god thing is blue, but I don't know if this is that god thing. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try green. Let's deal with these first. Let's enchant item, a most powerful, green, and let's do the rifle. No, it did nothing. Huh. don't understand. Oh, I bet I have to dispel magic to get rid of the protective spell. Let's try it. It's not about to try to smack me, is it? Wait, when it's turning, it's about to smack you, isn't it? I'm gonna go for it. So, Dispel Magic, most powerful, and it does appear to be blue, so let's make it green. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> ah! I don't know if it worked. That didn't work. I don't understand. Alright, let's try this. How about I summon that demon and shoot lasers at it? <laughs> With a green demon. Maybe that'll work. Summon... which one was it? This one. Spell 10. Yeah, how do you like this? Target the head, shoot lasers. I 
have no idea how to tell how much health this thing has. <sighs> Can this thing not shoot lasers? On this thing? Oh, there we go. That... didn't do anything, did it? Oh, this is a disaster. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. I want to try to hug one of its legs. Please let me hug you. Oh, it died. Actually, that's a good thing. Now I don't have to fight it. But I still have no idea what to do. Maybe I need to get it to stomp on a damage field? Maybe I need to cast magic attack? I did just find the spell for magic attack. Maybe that's the only way to hurt it? I don't know. This is like complete trial and error. All right, let's try a magic attack. So I'll get close. Hope it doesn't stomp on me. If it doesn't interrupt my spell, I'm going to be very, very annoyed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did that just do nothing? I don't understand. I, I really don't understand. Okay, here we go. So it's flashing now. I had to look up a walkthrough. Apparently you do have to use magic attack. I was right about that, but you have to only use it when it's flashing. I guess. Did I not use it when it was flashing before? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me though. Why does it have to be magic attack? Why can't I just enchant my gun with the, the correct alignment and shoot it or my sword or anything? Like why does it have to be that one specific thing and absolutely nothing else works? Alright, let's try it. It sounded like I actually didn't have to get that close. There we go. Okay, getting harder. Not orbs anymore. Well, definitely melee weapons for these. Oop. Let's get a shield going. Let's drink a magical elixir. I, d I reloaded my save game, by the way, because I realized I'd used up most of my ammo and elixirs and stuff. Let's drink that. Um, let's heal. Okay. And I'm not going to bother doing a finishing move. Yes, apparently if you get too close and it does its, like, kick attack, it won't go into the phase where it can take damage. But you gotta keep a distance, wait till it starts flashing. Are you gonna start flashing? Maybe I don't have to wait for it to flash anymore. Maybe that's only for the first phase. Oh. Oh, it's casting, but it's not flashing. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just go for it. Huh. 
Okay, let's try it here. That definitely did nothing. All that did was hurt me horribly. Hmm, maybe I need to be further back? What am I doing? I'm trying to drink a potion. I don't suppose I could shoot it now. Oh! Oh, it's doing the thing! Hmm... I can't get it off before they start hurting me. Oh, no. What made you do the thing? Was it being this far back, or what? Why did you do the thing? Maybe I'll try shooting the zombies from afar. Or maybe I just need to not shoot the zombies, I don't know, we'll see. Come on, flash for me. This is such an anticlimactic, annoying boss fight. Half the time I'm just staring at it, waiting for it to flash. Doing absolutely nothing. Okay, so that didn't... Maybe I just can't kill them. Maybe I have to not kill the zombies. Let's try to get all the zombies to come to one side, and then I'll try to, like, go around to the other side. There we go. How much time do I have, though? Like, probably not very much. We'll see if this works. Well, the shield protected me from being interrupted, thankfully. Oh, yeah. So I can just rely on the shield to protect me from getting interrupted and ignore the zombies. Okay. Okay, that'll help. I'm very low on magical energy, though. Okay, so I just need to stay relatively close, and I shouldn't have to worry about the zombies, probably. As soon as it starts shining, I'm going to do the thing. Here we go. It didn't even... I guess I have to start doing it before it even flashes, huh? Jesus. This boss is terrible! I'm gonna run around to try to get my magic back. Nah, eh, I'm just... whatever. I'm just gonna drink the last one. Okay. Let's start it... Right now? I don't know. Was it just too far away? Uh, I'm just gonna reload and restart the fight now that I'm out of magical potions. So either that or just run around for like two full minutes trying to get my magicka back up just to be able to cast shield and one magical attack. Okay, here we go. We're in the second phase. About to drink a potion. I just used shield so I just need to get close enough. I need to get close enough that I don't get stomped on, which cancels the invulnerability. I need to make sure I'm not too far away so that the magical attack actually hits. 
And to boot, I need to do it before it even starts flashing and just hope that it ends up at the right time. Somehow hit it. it. Took a while, but all right. Whew. Okay, now. Okay, it's doing something else. Good. Um, how am I looking on mana? Enough to cast a damage, but I also should shield. I can't do that quite yet. Keep running. Given that I had to pre-cast the magical attack before, it, it's probably too late to do it now. Yeah, it's very quick. Do I even have to run? I don't, I can just walk. <laughs> okay, hold it. Woo, that foot's about to come down. Um, Alright, I've got shield now. Uh, I should have counted the number of stomps to figure out exactly when it's... when I need to cast probably a consistent number. I'm gonna count this time. So we're about to get stomp number one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So six stomps and then does it. Okay. Shield will protect me, right? Even though I know it's a big stomp, but like it should protect me. Should be fine. Was it too early? That didn't work the way I was expecting. It had odd behavior when it tried to smack me and then hit the shield. Huh. You know what, maybe... Maybe now that it's weakened, I can use like the weakest and quickest form of this? Let me try it. Oh, I think it worked. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it seems like when it hits your shield, it, like, resets, I think. The stomping. Please tell me we're done. Please. And the game is saved and we never have to fight that boss again, I hope. Whew, that was terrible. <laughs> it's like... It's like, here, here's all these different spells you can cast, all these different things you can do with them, you can combine them in interesting ways. 
Look at all these different spells. You can try to make your own spells with different runes and you can make them more powerful. But during this boss fight, you just, you, basically you just use one. You just use the one spell. Just the magical attack, nothing else works. Thanks. With the Guardian of Uliath vanquished and the stained glass that kept its, it kept it hidden lying in pieces, the essence Zelatoth is now liberated. Its magic beckons to Peter calling to him. He approaches cautiously. Grab it. Peter reaches out for the artifact, but pulls away as he feels its corrosive magic close on his hand. Wrapping his hand in a shred of clothing, he carefully lifts the artifact from its resting place. And that was how I came by it. I know it sounds crazy, but there you have it. The only proof I have is that statue. It's a strange one. I've seen one like it before. You have? Yes. Very rare, though. Very obscure. I've had experts take a look at it. And none of them know what it is. And you do. I'm somewhat of an expert on these things myself. An interest I developed a long time ago while I was a young man. Then you should keep it. Lord knows I have no interest in it. I am sure it's the cause of my sleeplessness. I keep thinking about it. As if it's calling out to me. Then a drink, perhaps. For the gift. For an unusual objet d'art. Having stopped reading, Alex discovers a small penny taped to the back of Peter's chapter page. Is it the lucky penny? Oh. Still covered in very, very old blood now. That's probably for the fuse box. Because remember, there's that one room we can't go inside of because the lights are out. It says something about there being a fuse box. It's probably for the fuse box. The only problem is I don't actually know where the fuse box is. But that's probably what it's for. Uh, same description as before. Okay, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end it. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think I'm going to use the coin somewhere. <laughs>